Hey guys, it's Terry here and I just want to do a quick video to talk to you a little bit about the art journals and why I use them in Body Image Bootcamp but also for my own therapeutic nature. So first and foremost, I've always kept a journal since I was in about the sixth grade. And for me, it was always a good way to process how I was feeling, get out everything that way. Um, and back then, it was more writing, but a lot of them also had some drawing. Some of them had like souvenirs, ticket stubs, things like that. Um, so then when I became older and I got away from writing as much because I was blogging a lot of the time, blogging a lot of my thoughts, I still wanted to do something tangible where I could use my hands and be creative. Um, so then I stumbled upon uh, the hashtag messy art journal on Instagram and I found that there was this uh, creative thing that was happening where people would take sketch journals like what you see here and they would just create on the pages and I was like that is a really cool way because I remember when I was younger uh, in addition to writing the journals I would also uh, collage a lot but I'll, and make stickers uh, where I would cut things out of magazines and it wasn't so much the final product of the sticker that I enjoyed it was actually the process of cutting stuff up making a bit of a mess uh, and then creating something beautiful out of it so that's why I do art journaling. Um, so the first art journal that I ever had was this little fella here. Not so little now, it's very full. And uh, the first, so the first thing I did was decorate the cover however I wanted. So I just bought a bunch of sticker rhinestones from the dollar store. Also I have lots of glue and things like that. And then I used a little fake Polaroid on the front. Um, then I did my little dedication on the front, so it's dedicated to myself, and then I just used some washi tape, again, some diamondy things, and then a Polaroid of myself. Uh, and then uh, a big part of my journals really just revolve around a lot of affirmation-y type things, really cool quotes that I find, um, and then pictures that I enjoy. So sometimes I will have questions that I ask myself. So for example, this is like, who do I want to be? Who do I feel? Um, you know, how do I want to show up in the world? So I want to be blunt. I want to free the nipple. Be yourself. Uh, step outside the comfort zone. You are special. Uh, sexy is not a size and things like that. So it's literally just things that I cut out of magazines and then create into my own. Uh, over here on this page is the happy list, so things that make me happy. Uh, there's this cool thing that your brain does um, where if you're having a bad day or something sad and you remember a positive experience or something that brings you joy on the day to day, your brain will actually uh, flood with positive chemicals and things like that. Uh, this is why we talk about going to your happy place uh, because it's a good experience for your body because your brain remembers those feelings and will think that it's going through this scenario again to help get you out of a bad mood. Um, so it's good to jot down what are those what are those things that bring you happiness, what are the little things in life that bring you happiness so you can always go back to them. Um, and then over here is like an actual journal entry where I wrote uh, something. I was probably trying to figure out some sort of um, issue that I was having. So I wrote about it there, another Polaroid of me, some grumpy cat stickers because I love that. Um, things I love, things I don't love, uh, my style, just talking about that, I don't really have a set style, except for messy hair. Uh, I use old photographs uh, as well that I found on my mom's. Um, they have these really cute little um, uh, photographs from like trips they've been on and things like that, so I would use those. Um, so basically my art journal turns into like a huge ass vision board is the best way to think about it. But uh, I tend to go in spurts of what I'm creating with. Most of the time it is magazines, washi tape, uh, stickers, and markers. Um, but I also, when I'm feeling it up to it, will also get into painting and things like that. Uh, drawing, so here's a self-portrait, which is an activity we do in Body Image Boot Camp. Um, again, just some things that I like about myself. And what's this? It says something about Justin Bieber. Oh, current music faves. So this is from 
I don't know, like four years ago. So Justin Bieber, Ed Sheeran, Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran, Val Morea, Louisa Wendorf. I don't even know. Oh, it's a T Swift mashup. Mackenzie Johnson. Like, it's kind of cool because it documents, you know, what you like at the time. This photo of my husband just fell out, so I feel everybody needs to appreciate that while I'm doing this. Yeah, so anyway, so this is basically how my art journal works. You can see there's some parts where I write quite a bit. And then other times where it literally it's just me collaging and making um, pictures uh, with some fun quotes on them and things like that. Um, I like to go to Michael's. I will warn you, if you go in for glue stick, you will walk away with a lot more. Oh, here, goals for 2016. So let's see, uh, over time I would like to pay 3000 of the Fort Gary Women's Resource Center. That year we ended up donating, I think, about 3600 So that's pretty good. Two speaking events, I don't even remember, but I probably did two, uh, including workshops. Martial arts, I did not. Oh. Or did I? I did take Muay Thai for a little bit, so maybe that is incorporated into that. Uh, 10 publications, including two big ones. I don't know if I did do that. Uh, how many sessions I wanted to uh, do a month. How often I want to cook. Date nights, empowerment um, events, social events. Um, 30 minutes of movement a day. And then my finances. So yeah. So basically I use my journal for things like that. Now how it works in Body Image Bootcamp is I actually have journal prompts for you. As well as in the Badass Babes Club, which is the post body image boot camp um, course that you can sign up for. So it's just every uh, every week you would get a new prompt uh, or a few prompts that will uh, give you something to, to create in your art journal or however you decide to journal. So yeah, so now uh, I just wanna show you guys real quick that I actually have three of these. So I started with this small little guy and filled it up. Oh. There's me and my husband in our engagement photos by Chantel. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Some poetry. Um, so this one will always probably be one of my favorite journals because it was the first one uh, that I created that was an art journal. Love it. Cool. Um, but I have so many of them. So this was, uh, not so many, I guess I have three. So then I moved up to a larger size. I did not decorate the front of this one. Um, but this is where I got into painting, ripping up books, and really making um, bigger collages, things like that. When I design websites, when I design like my websites and how I want to lay it out, I will um, create it first with, um, with magazine clippings, pictures that I really like that I want to remember um, or get inspired by for photography, I'll also put in here. Um, this way it keeps me on track with kind of what I want my business to fall into or like how I want to live my life. So I have here the F words, fearless, feminine, fierce, femme, fabulous, flirty, fiery, uh, and things like that. And yeah, so just lots of, lots of things. What I want my photography to look like, my about page, what I would want that to look like, some nudie bits here, and so on. But yeah, so this one was less writing and a lot more creating. Um, again, for me, a lot of the catharticness, actually, oh, sex, this is all I put on that page. Um, for me, the cathartic part of this process is actually... Uh, in the ripping up of magazines and cutting up things and because it keeps part of my brain busy and my hands busy so that the rest of my brain um, can process uh, information. Um, yeah, so that is that. So you can see obviously what is happening here, going through. Uh, and then I always love to scan, um, scan these afterwards so I have them. So like, what is this one? Oh, so this is uh, this is when I was creating um, the first Body Image Boot Camp Retreat, which happened last year, which is cool. So it's always fun to go back for me too to go back and um, 
and see the things that I would list down. Like sometimes when I get overwhelmed, I need to get things out on paper. I always say it's the easiest way so I can organize my thoughts. So I use my journal for that a lot. Um, to figure out what my pricing is gonna be for my sessions um, or my business, I'll use that. Um, here's where Jill and I were first creating the Body Image Bootcamp. Um, uh, going further into Body Image Bootcamp there. I guess I gave her my journal. <laughs> Uh, what else we got here? Sometimes I will um, uh, gratitude or like what have I done? So I'll take stock of that. This one I created as like a little pop up. Ooh, fancy! And just just really playing. It's just a lot of playing and creating and sticking and painting and having fun. Um, when I get really overwhelmed, I'll write down all the negative things that I'm feeling or thinking and then try to make them beautiful. Oh, my, sorry, my hair is itching my face. Uh, where I want to travel to, all the different places. And last year I did, well, I have gone to San Diego. I did go to San Francisco. Been to New York, Minneapolis, Omaha, Texas, BC, Portland, Seattle, Florida. The only one I did not go to is Washington. Uh, but prior to this, I hadn't gone to like four of those places. So um, it's just really good to kind of bring your head uh, to keep your mind on track of your goals. Um, predictions after the U.S. election. De -do -do. Um, yeah. Let's see what else is in here. What I want to get out of this. Me just creating things. Um, again, going into branding. What is this? Oh, I wrote about what happened the day after Donald Trump got in. Today, we woke up to the news that Donald Trump has become the president of the United States. Yep, you heard that right. I figured I should document it so when our world starts to break down, we'll know why. It's kind of crazy because it doesn't even seem real. It's like the U.S. has been set back like a hundred years. A racist, potential rapist, and hardcore misogynist is a president of the United States. What the fuck? Everyone is stressed, scared, and worried, but at the moment it just seems not real to me. The best we can do is hope that all his bullshit was just that and his actions will be non-existent. Anyhow, I figured I should document this craziness. The other thing that happened is that this was the first year we had a female presidential candidate, uh, Hillary Clinton. While she may not be the greatest human, it would have been cool to see a woman take the office. Anyway, it will be interesting to see what the global outcome is, but I can only hope that love will prevail. Uh, yeah, that was not a good time. Still isn't, to be honest. So, hopefully the next time I write about the next election, both Canada and the U.S. will be good. <laughs> and then I did this one. It says, ladies, protect your pussies. Love has no wall. Oh, November 8th, 2016, when we went back 50 years. Uh, do you do? So sorry if you're a pro-Trump person, but I'm sure if you're listening to this on my page, you probably aren't. And if you are, goodbye. Um, yeah, so that is that. So that was my, I guess, 2016-2017. And then my most recent one, which is almost done as well. Oh, sorry. Um, so this is where I got into a bit more like really painting. Uh, so the pages are a bit more crunchy. Uh, I got into gluing like little glittery things, um, which is really fun. Uh, using pictures, old pictures again, back to old pictures. Um, goals for 2017 is in here. And uh, just quotes again, big things like that. My dedication to my mom. I'm sure she loves that I use that photo. Uh, and then I also started writing poetry again, which is something I would gotten away from. So I like to use my journal for that uh, when I sit down and just get it out. Is the best way to put it. Um, yeah, journal, painting, collage. I'm like, what else is new in here? Uh, I think that's about it. Oh, I, I did do... Uh, 
where I had to draw a self-portrait and then my niece also drew her self-portrait next to me. Uh, so I have that, which is kind of a cool documentation. So you have kids, you can have them uh, participate with you, which is really fun and it's kind of um, like, it's like a scrapbook of everything of your life which is really cool. Um, so what I did start doing this year though, and I just started doing this um, on my road trip uh, because I took this with me to create, is I actually started using my own photos now, my photographs. I was inspired by Tim Walker's um, photo book that I have at the studio. And so I will now get little pictures printed from my session. So these ones were like little wallet size prints that I just cut out and stuck together from my Seven Rings shoot with uh, Nicole. And um, and then I have a few more here, like one of my favorite shoots that I did in Vegas this year with Danica and Jade, which was awesome. Uh, one of my favorite pages, which I think I'm gonna actually scan this and put it on a t-shirt, because uh, it says Brazen Hussies, and I like that, and the photo looks cool. Um, sometimes I'll go to thrift stores and pick up some old vintage photos and then create a story about them. That's fun. Uh, and again, just collaging using photos of my own uh, to tell a story. Because now it makes me think more about what was the intent and what do I read out of my photos instead of them just being pretty pictures. Um, yeah, so that is it. So I just have a few more pages left in this one and I'm excited to start a new one. Uh, it's always fun to start a new notebook. Those of you that collect notebooks know exactly what I'm talking about. But that is how we use art journals and why we use art journals in Body Image Boot Camp. It's a great therapeutic way. Um, if you want to get inspiration on like where to start or how to create things, obviously following the hashtag, uh, hashtag Messy Art Journal is a good place to start. I know that they also, you can subscribe and they will have prompts. I don't know if it's daily, weekly, or monthly, um, but by subscribing there, um, you can get prompts through there as well if you need a bit more structure to your art journal. Uh, personally, I don't do as well with structure. I'm much more of a free spirit. Shocking, I know. Um, so for me, it's more fun to just kind of ad lib and create as I feel and then see what comes out of me instead of me going into it ahead. Um, but it's good to have both. Um, just to get to answer questions is really good to build a resilience in your mindset. Um, so yeah, so that is everything about art journaling with Body Image Bootcamp and myself. And if you have any questions, of course, you can uh, DM me or send me an email to toughloveterry at gmail.com. I think I have that email. If not, try thpstudios at gmail.com. That one's easier to spell. Uh, but DM is probably the fastest way to get a hold of me. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you have a phenomenal day. Bye.